Hey, what's up guys? This is Vimal here and welcome back to TR HD. In today's video, we're gonna unbox and review the world's smallest nano quadcopter. So before starting this video, I wanna thank Banggood for sending me this awesome quadcopter. Banggood is an awesome website. It is one of the best smartphone and RC dealers in China and they specialize in all kinds of goods. So guys, make sure you check out Banggood. I'll leave a link to that in the description box below. So this is the package that I received from Banggood. Let me unbox it using my unboxing knife. The packing is really good guys. Let me take this outside the packet. So this is the nano quadcopter guys, the Cheers and CX-10D, the only quadcopter with a height hold function. Let's open it. The artwork on the box is really good guys. This quadcopter's got lots of features I'm gonna show you in the later part of the video. Let's unbox it. So this is the user manual of the Cheers and quadcopter guys. It has got all the instructions on how to pair the quadcopter and how to use it. Let's keep it aside and check out the quadcopter. So this is the quadcopter guys. Let's take it out. This quadcopter's got landing pads which the other nano quadcopters do not have which helps in smooth landing of it and this is the on off switch so let's keep it aside and check out the controller this is the controller guys it's really good and this is the battery compartment so this is the Cheerson CX-10D nano quadcopter guys along with this controller the leopard skin is really good guys so let's have a quick hands on with the contents of the box. You get a nano quadcopter, the Cheerson CX-10D. It has a really good paint job, a leopard skin on it. Actually it's a limited edition model. Cheerson released it to celebrate the success of the original one. It's available in three colors. And this is the controller guys. It's got two analog sticks, a power on off button and a one touch takeoff and land button. That's really nice. This is where you need to insert the batteries guys. You need to insert two AAA batteries. The controller's got a nice grip in it. And the paint job is really good on it. You also get a USB cable to charge the quadcopter. You also get extra set of blades in case you damage the original ones which came with the quadcopter. That's really nice. So this is the quadcopter guys. You have an on-off switch over here and this is the charging port where you need to connect the USB cable. So let's switch it on. You've got four beautiful dazzling LEDs guys, two red ones and two blue ones. They look really beautiful in the night. So let's check out the controller guys. It looks really good. It has a high build quality and this is the on off switch. Let's switch it on. Oh, you've got a indicator on it to indicate the states of the controller. This LED will stop blinking when it has successfully paired with the quadcopter. Now I'll show you guys how to pair this controller with this quadcopter. So just switch on the quadcopter. You can see the lights have, lights have started blinking. Just put it on the floor. Take the controller and switch it on. Now you can see both the lights are blinking in the similar pattern. It means that the controller has detected the quadcopter. Now push the left analog stick towards front, you'll hear a beep and pull it down, you'll hear another beep. And the LED will stop blinking. It means that your controller and quadcopter have been successfully paired. Now I'll show you how to turn on the motors of the quadcopter. Just pull the analog sticks in this direction and the motor will start spinning. In order to stop them, 
pull in the same direction and hold for some time. That's it guys, this is how you turn the motors off. It is very easy to control this quadcopter guys. Before flying this, I wanna give few tips to you guys. Always place this quadcopter in this direction. These two red lights must be facing towards you. Just imagine this quadcopter as your vehicle. These two blue lights as your headlights and these two red lights as your tail lights. So that you can easily control the quadcopter. This is the controller guys. Now I'm gonna explain you all the modes and functions of this controller. Using this left analog stick, you can change the modes of the quadcopter. There are three modes, beginner, intermediate and advanced. I recommend using beginner mode if you have no idea how to fly this thing. Whenever you push this analog stick, you can hear beeps, a single beep for beginner, two beeps for intermediate and three for advanced. And these are the single touch takeoff and land buttons. Using this button, you can very easily take off the quadcopter and if you want to land it, just click that one touch land button. And using this analog stick, you can even do flips or rolls. Just click the analog stick and you can do the flips and rolls. Charging the quadcopter is also very easy guys. Just plug this USB cable into any mobile charger or any computer and switch it on. You can see a red light glowing. It indicates that the quadcopter is charging. And when the red light goes off, your quadcopter is completely charged. So let's see guys how this quadcopter flies. Let's switch it on. You can see the beautiful lights already glowing. So always make sure these red LEDs are always facing towards you. Let's put it on the ground. Now I'm pairing the controller. You need to pair the controller every time you switch on the quadcopter. Let's calibrate the accelerometer of the quadcopter for a smooth and stable flight. It is very easy to calibrate. Just pull the analog sticks towards the right bottom corner. You can see the LEDs start blinking. Hold the analog sticks in that direction for some time until the LEDs stop blinking. That's it, the quadcopter has been calibrated. Let's see how this quadcopter flies guys. Now it's in basic mode. I'm using the one touch takeoff button. Wow, it just took off in a single blow. It's really stable guys. Wow, you can control the quadcopter using this right analog stick. And to do a flip, just click the button and push in the direction you want to do the flip. Wow, it's very easy to do flips or rolls. Just click the right analog stick and push the analog stick in the direction you want to do a flip or a roll. It has got really good stability. Now I'm flying the quadcopter in advanced mode guys. In this mode, it is very fast and you can do lots of stunts in it. You can also do fast rotations in this mode just like this. Wow, that's beautiful. Awesome rotations and stunts. Wow, do you like it guys? So this is the Cheerson CX-10D quadcopter guys, it's a limited edition model and this is the only nano quadcopter with the altitude hold feature. It's really fun to play with this quadcopter guys. You can do lots of stunts in this advanced mode, you can do flips, rolls and you can even do fast rotations. This is so much fun to play with. Did you see how fast it is? It's like a small bug flying in your room. This whole video was shot in a single charge guys. The charging took around 20 to 25 minutes. This quadcopter got a really good battery life and it's really stable. It's really fun to play with this quadcopter. While shooting this video guys, I dropped the quadcopter 10 to 20 times but nothing happened to the quadcopter. It's working perfectly. The build quality is really good. 
It is extremely well built and it has got rugged construction. So don't think, just buy and enjoy this quadcopter guys. It's available on Banggood for 1200 rupees. I'll leave a link to that in the description box below. So thanks guys for watching my video. Leave a thumbs up, subscribe and stay tuned to my channel for more new awesome videos.